Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Citizen in Alpha 3.7.2. In this video, I'm gonna try out Star Citizen with my new graphics card. Thanks to a donation by Satellite999, I got an RTX 2070 in replacement of my old GTX 970. And so to some extent, this video is to show you what the net effect of that upgrade is. And of course, I've got the FPS in the upper right hand corner. And I definitely have made videos uh, in the areas that we will be traversing through, so you can compare like that. Uh, of course, it's important that the area is consistent. And so we're going to the Stanton system. I should be waking up in Lorville, which is, of course, a very resource intensive area. And so hopefully that will be of interest. Now, I intend to try and pick up a mission. We are expecting Alpha 3.8 soon, and I want to see what bugs there might be in this version, maybe. I mean, it's mainly about missions for me. I want to see them develop the mission system, make sure it runs properly. That's the big thing. I don't really care about any more ships. I haven't used that many in the first place. And so uh, it's just the gameplay being able to run missions smoothly and effectively and without weird things happening. Uh, basically. So we'll see how it goes this time. I'll try a combat mission, I think for the first time. Well, maybe not. Um, but certainly for the first time in a long time. I'll try and pick up a combat mission, see how combat goes, try not to ram into anybody. I've noticed that that is a bad strategy, so... Okay, so here we're waking up. My other ship is Bengal. Okay, I don't know what that means. Uh, we get 30 FPS right away, which is good. Um, it takes some time for all the FPSs to uh, come into play, if you will, because it's loading stuff elsewhere in, you know, close by. But uh, yeah, we should be getting more than that. Let's see. Oh, that was a little bit choppy. But some of it could be server lag. Oh, no, I wanted to go out. What have you done? Okay, yeah, some of it could just be the connection to the server, but I think it's still loading stuff here. I could give it some time, but let's just push it. There's still some screen tearing. I thought I had VSync on. Graphics. Uh, nope, VSync is off now. Quality is very high, you'll note. But I have not noticed any substantial difference between very high and low. That may be because I have a user config. I'll have to check on that. Um, no motion blur, of course. Uh, so maybe there, there's a user config that's overriding this quality, which probably is for the best. But maybe in that user config, I'll need to turn VSync on since there's been some screen tearing. If uh, the, it doesn't work around here in the menu. We still have to wait for elevators. That hasn't changed, but probably not as bad as it used to be. So we gotta make the trip all the way into the spaceport. Uh, you may recall the tram? Can I call it a tram? Train? It's more like a tram. I don't know. I don't feel like it deserves to be called a train. Okay, which way around it is it? This way. I'm totally gonna get lost. Now this this area is always the worst for frame rate. So we see we get 20 here. It'll probably increase if I just stand here. It'll just steadily increase over time as it tries to load things. But I don't care. <laughs> we'll 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 continue on and push things. Oh dear, this looks like a real standoff. Um. This guy's in trouble, I think. Um, yeah. Well, it still stars isn't an alpha. <laughs> That's for sure. Poor sod. Can we do anything for him? I don't know. I think the time between trains is at least quicker. That's positive. Used to be as much as two minutes. But I guess it depends on which line you're on. 
Wow, those doors open real quick. The train hadn't even stopped yet. Okay, let's see how this thing is as it loads the nighttime scene of the city. The city of Lorville. Uh, let's go back to first person. Oh, there's a combat. As well, I should get my ship first before trying to pick one of those up. They do have a time limit on them. But I think those combat assistance missions are probably the best deal for trying out combat. I don't think I've picked one of those up before. I should also try racing and see how the frame rate is in there. But maybe that'll be a different- oops, wrong side. Maybe that'll be a different, uh, oh that's not the exit, this is the exit. Um, that'll probably be a different video. I think we'll just stick to the Persistent Universe for this video. Ah, let's see my famous eye can- and uh, my favorite eye candy ship. The... I don't know about its wheels though, they seem a little bit blocky. Yeah. AI characters, rather uncomfortably placed close to each other. Yeah, I don't know about the blocky wheels. That seems weird. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure if it's supposed to be like that. Anyway, let me call a ship. Uh... Why do I have two Mustang Alphas? <laughs> I, I have one Mustang Alpha. I presume it's this, this one. I, I see a glitch. Obviously, I destroyed this Mustang Alpha in a previous thing. And I claimed it. Now, the claimed one turned up to be a second one. Well, I'm sure that'll be cleared out in 3.8, but... Let me just retrieve the one that I don't have to claim. I, maybe I should claim the other one, then I don't have to wait. Hmm. Hangar 6. Let, let's just get on with it. Okay, how's the whole getting to the hangars deal? Um, first of all, where do I have to go again? I think it's over here. These elevators. It used to be that these elevators were only to particular hangars. But now I think each one goes to all. Which is some kind of magic as far as routing is concerned. Hangar 6. Well, there is a Mustang Alpha. Don't know if this was my color scheme before, but okay. Um, Anthropolit seat. Still looking good. I've joined the channel. Uh, I, I definitely... Uh, did I get clipped into, like, the side? Oh! That's frisky. Um, well, let's go... Uh, oh, boy. Well, I'm free now. Uh, no, I just I just still can't control it very well. Oh, God. I've gotten out of this before. A lot better than I just did. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Oh, good. I've already lost a wing. Well, you know. Uh, let's call it a horizontal stabilizer, I suppose. Well, I suppose we should do a sort of vanity check of Lorville here. Uh, we're pretty high. The problem is, Lorville, if you get low over it, they'll kill you. Don's over there, but I think it'll take too long to get to where we can actually see things properly. Oh, there's one of those. Uh, left bracket to accept. Uh, did I accept that one or not? Oh, I'll accept this one. Fine. Okay. Ranger Makarov. Well. Okay, let's respond to Beacon. It's right there, after all. We probably have to clear the atmosphere first. Oh. Well, hopefully this is the one that I still have. I guess I picked up two. 
Okay, we are in space. Let us try to jump to things. Oh, suddenly all sorts of things light up? That's interesting. Whoa, and they all spin. We're going to Ariel. Everybody's favorite font of a planet, I guess. Looks practically like a sun, it's so orange. Why can't I just go straight to the beacon? <laughs> oh, wow, he's going faster. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Ship on its last legs. Already? Oh. Well, at least I'll draw some fire. Oh, don't hit them. Very important. I wonder if the enemies are at all sort of... Oh, I read, they already killed him. Well, I'll, I'll like, continue combat as well as I can. Shit doesn't seem to be turning the greatest, but... I wonder if they're scaled to what kind of ship you have. I'm supposing not, but not sure. Seriously, this guy just doesn't take any damage when I shoot like that. Like, come on. Oh, what, what's happened? My cockpit? I don't understand what has happened. Did I just lose my cockpit window? Now probably it needs something a little bit more powerful to take on combat missions. Takes too long to. Too bad, unlike in the Arena Commander, it doesn't show me when I do damage. At least it hasn't. Maybe I haven't done any damage. Ooh, that's not a good sign. Well, at least I have a Oh! Um, I think I'm dead. Okay, yeah, not so good at combat. I should definitely have requested that uh, that extra Mustang that I seem to have. All right. Well, here we go again. Frame rate on waking up this time is actually lower, which is a surprise. Whoa! I think there's some. Oh uh, yeah, there were some things missing. Vandal in Arena Commander sure died easily, <laughs> but that is not clearly indicative of how things will happen. Oh, I think uh, now it's a little bit more even. There's three people on that side. That one guy is no longer alone. Some have defected. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, uh, it doesn't seem like Arena Commander is at all indicative, or the Vandal are all indicative of how difficult it will be, how difficult it will be to fight in the Persistent Universe. Okay, um... Location, Ariel. Claim that one. Uh... I'll claim. Don't expedite, please. Let's claim this one too, why not? I wonder if they'll multiply. Uh, Merlin is not very useful. We can't jump with it to anywhere. Let's just go with the Aurora and try something 
a little less combat-y. I don't know, I guess the Aurora is better at combat than the Mustang Alpha, maybe. Overall, they do a good job with sound. So that's working much better. I'm sort of pleased I still have my Aurora, even though I technically traded it in for the Mustang Alpha. I don't know if it'll stay that way in uh, Alpha 3.8 or not. We'll see. Unfortunately, I can't seem to turn my head up very well, so I'll have to trust that it's opening. Take off. Whoa! Oh god. Again, it's a matter of uh, the throttle range is so big. Trying to get 2-0 is tricky sometimes. Okay, well... Please let it be open, please let it be open, please let it be open. Okay! Missing client. Ah, uh, that's too interesting. Let's just do a delivery. They don't pay that badly. They all pay the same, actually. Um... Lyria. I don't remember visiting Lyria. From R&R. Uh, I don't want to go to Ark, so Hurston L5 will be fine. So this is a better view of Florville at the moment. It seems rather small. I thought it was bigger than this before. Whoa! Okay. I mean, it's mostly the spaceport, but I guess that doesn't, that isn't completely unreasonable. Again, down to a planet surface and getting back into orbit still takes a while. To be honest, I mean, obviously, not as long as it takes in Kerbal Space Program, but... <laughs> you know. So there is that. I guess the Lagrange point is on the outside, obviously. And actually, it's pretty far. Alright. Quantum jumps are always a pain. Why did it stop moving? I don't have a whole lot of fuel. 124 will be half of it. I wonder if there's any refueling at the Grinch point or not. So, do I hope that there is something at the Grinch point for me to refuel at, or...? Let's see, it's just a bunch of rocks, so maybe not. But then again, I should be able to make it back here, assuming everything's symmetrical. So okay, we can at least come back here with the fuel that we will have left. Okay, here we go, long trip. And here we go. I think probably uh, by the time I get into 3.8 I'll have upgraded the Mustang Alpha to whatever the next thing up is. Just slow steps. I'm trying to hit as many different ships as possible, but I'm not really fond of it. I'm actually more fond of the Aurora. Especially because of the view, you know, it has a good view of the surface, we can look down if I'm trying to land. It's pretty handy. I mean, on the one hand, I'm used to much longer flights in, like, X-Plane 11, like an hour-long flight between two locations or something like that. On the other hand, the view out the window is much more varied in x 11, or any other flight simulator. So, that, you know, is a little bit more interesting. It's more to look at. Of course, I guess the selling point is the ships, and so I could get up and just Go to the back of the ship, lie down. Of course, if I had a bigger ship, I'd have more to do inside the ship while I'm waiting to arrive at my destination. 
assuming I wasn't pulled out by some interdiction. Okay, finally arriving. Why does it seem like I'm going backwards? Come on. Come on. Huh. It, it, when I, uh, exited the quantum jump, it had me going backwards. Interesting. Even my hydrogen fuel needs to be topped up. I guess last time I played I must have left it unfilled and it remembered? I don't know. Same with the quantum stuff. Wow, it's shaking a lot. Is it because there are a lot of little particles in this asteroid field that I can't see and it's knocking into the ship or something? My ship doesn't look damaged. Okay, well this place looks station-esque. But I don't know if it'll have refueling capabilities. Well, if there's an armistice, armistice zone, that's hopeful. All right. Is it close to here, hopefully? Close to the pickup location, maybe? Uh, I'm looking for... Oh, there's a little jetway there. Oh, there's the wrench. Oh, well. We'll go where they tell us to go. I probably want to refuel anyway, so... Careful. Well, it's definitely operating much better as far as the throttle goes now than it was. See, I can zero it out properly. I don't know, sometimes it doesn't want to zero out, sometimes it does. Hmm. Okay. That was nice and smooth. I wish it was always like that. Alright, uh, let me get out of the seat. Oh, wait, maybe I should be in the seat. Um, hold on. Can I refuel when I'm out of the seat, please? Go maintenance service. From the pilot seat. Okay, let's... whoops. Pilot seat, do that stuff. Oh, personal inventory. I have no idea how I brought that up. <laughs> okay. So, oh well now it's just not available, is it? Do I have to turn on the ship first? No. Oh. We'll deal with that later then. Okay, well, why don't I just go ahead and EVA off the platform and go over there. I don't have much hope that there's a way to go inside the thing. 60 FPS right now though. Uh, probably we can bump up the quality. But then, uh, the problem is, in some locations I would like more quality, like here. I might as well get some more out of it. I'm pretty sure I've capped the FPS at 60. Nice little tour of the station though. I get the strange feeling I was not supposed to approach it this way. Do they anticipate me doing stuff like this or not? I mean, honestly, why wouldn't you try to EVA to the location? There doesn't seem to be any entrance on this island structure. Okay, I guess back to my ship. Wow, I've really covered a lot of distance. Did I not shut the engines down? I thought I shut the engines down. Why is it gassing all over the place? Oop! 
gravity. Ow. I hurt myself. That was such a curable fall. Well, can still run. All elevator. Is there like, uh, well, I guess it has to be lobby. I don't know which pad this was actually. <laughs> uh, that might be a problem later. Okay, yeah, go ahead and return to my ship to storage, I suppose. Initiating ship storage procedure. For your safety, please vacate the area. Thank you for your cooperation. That would be simpler. It'll tell me which pad I'm on. Okay, so how do I get to... Oh, the pickup's only 21 meters. That's a mag one of those magical elevators that can cover a whole kilometer somehow. Upstairs, it looks like. I don't think I've been here. Or I just locked it out. No, I think I've locked it out. I have been here. Alright, maybe it's this thing. Pick up. Don't mess with me. Okay, good. Harry. Okay, now. And now I don't remember how to run while I'm supposed to have this. I think somebody told me, but I completely forgot because this has been a long time since I had to carry one of these. Um, I also need to figure out where the screens are for me to tell them I want my ship back. It would be nice if they had... Oh, there's, there's some screens. Hopefully those are the screens. They should have a marker for where the screens are, but I guess it's not too bad. Mostly be able to figure it out. Those are some interesting pants that guy's wearing. I haven't seen pants like that. T-shirt too. I'm always wearing my flight suit. Guy's all decked out. Pad three. Okay. That's fine. Uh, my ship here? Oh, I guess it is. Good. S small compared to the pad. 62, 61, 60, 59, 58. That's not how you carry a box, by the way. Carry it from the bottom. <laughs> right? Did, did, do, did people who animated this, did they never carry a box before? Who carries one from the top? Okay, enter ship. Now, I'm just gonna drop it in here, but I don't know if there's a way of, um... Like... Uh, wanna make sure it's inside the ship, please? Been through this before. I'll do. Okay, it better be there when I finish. Okay, get the shields up. Nothing stopping you from getting the shields up. Well, I guess the landing gear. Maybe? No, it's actually replenishing the shields. I don't know what killed the shields in the first place. I want to make sure that the crate is not on the ground. It is not. Alright. Okay. Go. I guess I'm not gonna do a whole lot except for deliver the shipment, so if I can get to my destination... Oh, it's our core. No, yeah, there's no way I'm gonna get there with the fuel that I have. Alright, back to Hurston Central. It's possible that if I just fit better weapons on the Mustang Alpha, I would have done a better job in terms of the mission. Though, it seemed rather quick the time it took for the guy to die, so I don't know if any you know, refitting would be sufficient for me to have protected him or whether I was just dawdling. Yeah, I could have been dawdling a bit. I mean, I haven't done that kind of mission before and I didn't appreciate how quickly he would die. Let's see if I can make some money on this one at least. Though, I should get back to 
trying just general trading and see how that works these days. Trade runs, actual trade runs instead of delivery missions. So they didn't, uh, the trade run didn't seem very lucrative before, but I didn't really pick the most lucrative option. Okay, here we go. Hopefully we don't have to like go around the planet in order to get to Orville, please. Drive is now full. Yes, my fuel is low. That is why I'm here. I don't know all the possible fueling locations. Okay, well, it's not giving me a nice Lorville indicator. Well, this might be relatively painless. It is one of those auto approaches, if you will. Much swirliness, atmospheric swirliness. I don't know what altitude the red area begins. Hopefully we'll get a uh, good enough warning. We should be close enough to hail though. Be hopefully. Yeah, lower landing services. I think they've reduced how much red restricted area is around here. It always seemed like I had a restricted area all around me before. So they've got a little bit more reasonable about that. Okay, let's not break the landing gear. Okay, good. Landing complete. Power off. Weapons system is off. Now seriously, I want the power off. I don't want to see you smoking. Chip. Consumer goods. Just in time for the holidays. That's what I'm delivering. Literally a holiday package. Okay, where am I supposed to deliver them to? Uh, oh right, no I'm refu- oh gosh darn it. Totally forgot, I, I was all ready to deliver this, I forgot, I'm just refueling here. Back to the ship. Oh god, what, what, where was it? Uh, seven, maybe? It seemed to have a zero zero seven on it. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about the fact that my legs are yellow. Okay, so now... Can we refuel, please? Still can't refuel. Okay, maybe I need to start the ship. Normally you don't have to start a vehicle in order to refuel it. Quite the opposite. That's a lot of sound. Okay. No. Appropriate pad or hanger. Hmm. I don't know. How am I supposed to refuel? I could always order up the Mustang Alpha, I suppose, and use that to travel. The long walk. I'm, I am holding down shift as we speak. But you know, neither rain nor snow nor really slow walking speeds will prevent us from delivering our package. I wonder how I'm gonna put the package in the Mustang Alpha though. Uh, sure, number two. <laughs> Why not? What is this guy doing? What is your motivation, sir? Oh, he just... Oh. Yeah. 
Got all sorts of little pads there. What's gonna happen to the package as I enter the pilot seat? I dropped it, didn't I? Oh, the quantum travel fuel is low on this one? Hold on. Well, uh, that... No. It's blue. At least. But it still says it's not... Hold on. How much do I have? I've got 583. It's not low. That's why it's not available, because it's full. Okay, wait. I want to get out. I know I've got a cargo hold that can carry, uh, carry four units, but can it carry this? Open cargo bay. I mean, it's just blocks. But like, it should be. It shouldn't have blocks at all. Hmm. Place. Can I place you up there? I don't know how the place function works actually. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Climbing, climbing, ye, ye, uh, yeah, there. Can you do that? Right. This is totally gonna work. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh no. It's stopping the cargo bay from closing. Wait. But the cargo bay thinks it's closed. Are you moving or are you gonna be stable right there? When I said place, are you gonna stick there or are you gonna like go all rigid body all over the place? Close. Oh, 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 wow. But will you stay there? That's the question. You know what? This is an experiment now. I don't even care about fin finishing the mission. I want to see what happens with it. I wonder if I could just open the canopy and dump it in there and then climb in. But it seems to have a collider. So I don't think I'd be able to sit down. But the question is, is it caught there? Is it gonna... Uh, despite the fact that it's sort of jumping around, is it basically gonna stick there? Um, let's see. So, alright. Skip permissions. Alright. Oh, I should start it up first. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, we see stuff opening. Um, I don't know why I'm tilting forward. Um, I don't think it's on there, is it? It doesn't seem that way. Go. Still says quantum travel fuel low, but I've got 583, which I'm sh I'm pretty sure is the most that this can carry. It's possible that this mission is just a bust at this point. And I will probably leave it here because it's been quite a while. Let me just land it. See if I can get back in this hangar in particular. I don't know. We have a pad that's open. You do have a pad that's open. I just left it. Ah, it does. Oh, and the shipment's there. Okay, well, that's positive at least. Maybe I can, like, destroy my Aurora? Landing complete. Okay. Landing complete. Hold on, one last check. Let me dump it into the cockpit and see what happens. There is an area behind the cockpit. Maybe I can get it in there. Okay, open pilot canopy. Open ladder.
Can I like get up there without? Hmm. Uh, maybe the place function will work. Oh, I can't enter pilot seat. Let's see. No, uh, you need to be more... Give me some more time to place this. How did it work in the back anyway? It let me do all sorts of stuff with it. Then now, as soon as I place it, goes away. Okay, yeah, I don't understand the place dynamic. So, I've got this package, you see. And I don't know what to do with it. I'll probably just give up on this mission. But it's been interesting. And maybe you can tell me what's up with the refueling and why I couldn't refuel the Aurora. Anyway, I'll continue my experimentation in this version of Star Season ahead of the update. We will see how that goes. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.